Hello, here I have my little homemade three chime air horn that I built out of some PVC pipe automotive funnels and some Tostitos chip bags. I also have my little PVC pipe metropolitan style whistle. These are also known as bells, and these three bells make up what's known as a chord, multiple notes played simultaneously. The length of the bell determines the pitch note and frequency, and the width of it determines the amplitude or volume. Major notes are happy sounding, minor notes are sad mystic sounding. Each note is a specific frequency. You have your natural notes and the notes that fall in between known as the sharps and the flats. Your notes go from A to G, and there are no sh sharps and flats between B and C and E and F. Now with the whistle, it's pretty much the same idea, except its sound is produced here by air becoming unstable. Here you can see how these instruments produce their sound. With the air horn, you have your bell right here, and you have your diaphragm that presses up against the back of the bell. When pressurized air goes into the air horn, it causes the diaphragm to vibrate up against the bell. Here you can see how the air pushes the diaphragm back. And then here you can see how the air pushes the diaphragm up against the bell. And when it slams up against that, it produces a pressure wave, which you hear as sound. And here you can see how the sound wave resonates inside the bell. Now here with the whistle, you can see how it's constructed. There's a block of wood inside the tube. And the air comes in, the air speeds up, and it becomes unstable underneath the opening. And it produces pressure waves that you hear as sound. And there you can see how the sound wave resonates inside of it. Your sound wave always stops at the first opened hole. There's actually two different kinds of whistles in piped music. Ones that are closed on the end, and ones that are opened on both ends. Here you can see this whistle is opened on both ends. This is known as a fipple whistle. It plays like a flute. There's actually two holes in it. And there's a wooden stopper in between the two holes that totally blocks the pipe. And here you can see there is a little gap where the air flows up through the one hole and across the other. And just like the other whistle, the air becomes unstable over that hole. You got your length to determine the frequency, note, and pitch. And you got your width controlling the amplitude and volume. Here I have a little air horn instrument that I tried to build. It's got a mouthpiece. The bell comes all the way down to this elbow and goes in here and all the way to the diaphragm. I also have this side of the diaphragm open and I have keys on this side. And these keys pretty much manipulate the diaphragm as you blow into it. I'll give you a little idea as to what it sounds like. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I hope you learned something. Next time we'll charge up my air tank and blast that puppy.